Hey everybody, this is my 125 gallon tank. I uh, just got in for the evening and we are going to try to do an update on my rainbow fish that's in this tank. I came in yesterday evening and I was prepared to finally euthanize the fish because it was down on the bottom. It was near the glass. It was kind of stuck in my uh, crypt over here. These plants you can see up front. And I kind of thought it was sort of towards the end. It was just kind of upside down and kind of fluttering its gills a little bit. And when I reached into the tank, I realized that it was just kind of stuck in the weeds. As soon as I touched it and it fluttered a little bit, it got out and started swimming around the tank again. And of course it was still swimming around, um, you know, very corkscrew kind of upside down. It still didn't look good. But it was still in there and it was still doing its thing, so I was going to leave it alone. And when I came in this morning to get all the lights turned on before running out for work, I was not able to find it. I have no idea where it is. I just popped my head back in uh, this evening and I still don't see it anywhere. And I've been looking and looking. Uh, this morning I got down on this end. I looked all through the uh red tiger lotus i don't see it in there anywhere so i've mentioned before let's see if i can block the light enough if you look at this piece of wood right here and you can see right there that actually goes down underneath of this whole entire piece of wood all the way down to this end of the tank is hollow under there so it could have worked its way down there uh, i can stick the entire end of the gravel vac about six inches down inside that believe it or not so that's a pretty big cavity it could have gotten in there and it also might be sort of nestled down inside of the fronds of the java fern somewhere so i don't know i am not sure where it is i still don't see it um give me a minute let me go ahead and stop recording in here and i'm going to stick my hands in some of those plants and rustle them around a little bit and see if i can't uh stir it up and get it out of there in fact give me a minute i'll go ahead and set the camera up on the tripod and i will let you all watch me doing that and we'll see if we can't spot it together Now what I'm doing here is just moving a lot of this mulm and detritus and stuff down towards the other end of the tank and it collects in a couple of traps I've got set up down there for it and then next time I get in here into a water change I'll be able to gravel back a lot of that stuff out of there very easily. But so far I do not see hiding your hair of a dead or injured fish.
plenty of other rainbow fish moving around in there, but I still do not see danger going. All right, everybody. I know it doesn't look very pretty anymore, but that is just moment to try this and stuff. It'll settle down. And I don't know if it came out on video. I got the camera sitting right in front of my waterfall tank. So I was kind of shouting towards the mic that I have several uh, sort of gaps in the rocks around here. And all of this stuff will sort of make its way towards this end of the tank because of the power head I've gotten here and most of it will sort of collect on the bottom. You can see a lot of it's even settling down right on top of the rocks right there. And I will get a mountain of that stuff developing right down here at this end of the tank. And as I get in there next time to do a water change, I'll be able to vac a lot of that stuff right on out of there. So I still do not see hiding or hair of him. I went through every leaf and plant in the entire tank the only thing I didn't do was lift up that piece of wood that I was talking about down here. It's my snakeskin garamis back there. I'm trying not to scare it too much, but I did not lift up that piece of wood and look underneath of that. Honestly, if it really is in there and dead, even though it was a fairly significant fish, I'm pretty confident that it will uh, decay or rot away, whatever, decompose, be eaten, etc and it will not give me too much of an ammonia spike if at all so i'm not going to worry too much about that in the meantime um, i will keep my old sniffer in tuned and when i get in there to feed the tank in a little while uh, i will sniff again to make sure i can't smell anything going on in there but as of yet even with me sticking my arm in there and everything else i don't smell any sort of dead fish smell at all so i don't know if it's still in there or possibly uh, i do have some plecos in the bottom they're chocolate zebra plecos uh, not the true zebra plecos, but the chocolate zebra plecos, and they could have been in there working on it, nibbling away, munching away, and you never know by now that dead fish, if it did indeed die, uh, might already be devoured for the most part. But I don't know what to tell you. I don't know where it is. I mean, you saw what I did in there as far as trying to stir it up or swirl it around. Uh, if it was alive, I certainly would have chased it out. And if it was dead, you think I certainly would have just flushed its dead body out of the leaves somewhere. So I don't know uh, what to tell you, like I said. So there you go, everybody. There's my update on my uh, injured rainbow fish. And I will keep my eyes out for it. If we find it, I will certainly let you know. So make sure you're subscribed. You don't want to miss that or anything else. And hopefully the next time you see this tank, it will look a lot more like it did back at the beginning of this video. So thanks for watching. Don't forget, this is my 125-gallon native tank. Thanks again, and I will see you real soon in the next one.